My name is Cecilia Miguel. I have schizophrenia, and I am not a monster. With my hallucinations, it first started out as shadowy figures. Uh, I would see this shadowy figure that my parents would call uh, Mr. Blob Man. As I kept growing older, I started hearing sort of a static, uh, a staticky whispers in my ears. This was more around junior and senior year of high school, where I start, started actually visually hallucinating uh, the clown from Stephen King's It. And that was terrifying. I also hallucinated large spiders. Like the, the clown hallucination is 24 seven. But whenever I start seeing the girl, uh, that's a hallucination that I'm a little bit more afraid of. The girl stabbing me. It's my. It's called a tactile hallucination. So, my uh, my my brain is registering it basically as an actual feeling. Uh, so it's it hurts. It's very painful. I was a lot more scared of my hallucinations when I was younger. I actually thought that I was possessed. I realized that I had schizophrenia long before I was diagnosed. It actually took my suicide attempt to finally get the help that I needed. Once I learned about uh, schizophrenia and realizing that it's a chemical imbalance inside my head, I became less scared of my hallucinations. I realized that yes, I hallucinate and the voices in my head are very troubling, but really it was the negative voices of real people outside. Those voices are what I feared the most. So I had to set the story straight, so I came, became open about my schizophrenia on a Facebook post that later became my blog, I'm Not a Monster Schizophrenia. A big misconception about schizophrenia is people think it's a niche topic, but that's wrong. There's 1.1% of the world's population over the age of 18 has some sort of form of schizophrenia. That's 51 million people worldwide. And that's why I really made it my mission now to try to change the face of schizophrenia because the current representation is inaccurate. Having schizophrenia was for a long time a secret of mine. And that included a secret that I had to tell potential boyfriends. My current boyfriend uh, is, is wonderful. Uh, he knew about my schizophrenia uh, even before we started dating. So Cecilia told me about her condition, I would say, the first time we met, honestly. Yeah, she's pretty straightforward about it. And he doesn't look at me any differently than he treats me. He treats me like just like a regular girlfriend. Oh. I'm founding the organization Students with Schizophrenia. We're going to help students with outreach, services, and support. I'm pretty convinced that I wouldn't have had my suicide attempt if there was an organization like this. I'm honestly really proud of her for being able to do this. Like, I see her um, working every day in terms of trying to get um, students with schizophrenia to launch. You really cannot tell if someone has schizophrenia or not. And that's the big misconception is that we are some sort of a monster. We are not monsters. We want to make sure that anyone, anyone worldwide is not afraid to say the words, I have schizophrenia.